Hey, I'm here. Uh, so this is kind of a special day. Uh, well, first off, I didn't stream last night. Uh, got caught up on some stuff after work, and I was just like, forget it. I'll finish Golden Sun Sunday because I have time. Uh, I was originally going to do the Bravely Second demo on Sunday, the final demo, and I realized it's just the full game, like the first five hours of it. So why? And it doesn't carry over. So why would I? waste my time doing that if I'm going to eventually replay it anyway. Uh, so I figured I'm just going to not bother with that final demo. Uh, the other thing, I don't know if Data carries over to it actually, even if it does, it doesn't matter. I'm just not in the mood for it right now. Uh, so I was going to originally do Mega Man Network Transmission on Sunday, but now I'll just do uh, the rest of Golden Sun. And maybe, maybe Mega Man, who knows? Who knows how long it'll take? Um, so, today is, well this whole weekend is the Splatfest the Mario 35th anniversary one. I am on Team Superstar. I actually have the Nintendo uh, Team Superstar shirt on right now. So it's I'm very thematically prepared for this. Uh, I can wear a funny hat too if I want to. I have a bunch of them. I've, I've got like eight hats now. I have enough hats to be a Smash Brothers character. Um, and rival Terry. But this is kind of cool because um, no one thought this was going to happen again. Especially at their Final Fest. And uh, Final Fest was also my first Switch capture card test stream and uh, it was pretty fun aside from the end when I lost the 100 times 100 battle at, in, in a very anticlimactic ending um, but yeah it's it's pretty cool to be playing this again for a bit I signed up already for the team uh, I've been pra I practiced with some weapons and training so I'm pretty good to get back to this I think I might just review the things real quick uh, also I haven't checked the stream quality yet let me see how that sounds. This could be anywhere between like a four to five hour stream. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to go until uh, I hit max rank. Hey, Celine, How you doing? Let me just check the sound quality. Nice. Those levels actually sound really good. Man, I don't know what happened, but ever since that last issue with the capture card, it seems to be working a lot better. That's a good... Uh, Good thing. Pol Polygonal Mario. I checked who on my friends list was registered for each team, and uh, I, I, out of the ten people playing in the Splatfest, nine of them are on Superstar, and one of them is on Mushroom. Plus, Superstar's yellow. Why wouldn't I pick that? I never reached ranked at X in uh, anything. Okay, uh, let me get my gear set up here. It's it's been a while. I, I I've got to figure out how to do this. Equip. Feel amazing, and it's pretty good. That's great. You deserve to feel good. Okay, can't change the shirt. Not that I want to. Again, wearing the shirt in real life, it even comes with a little tag in the corner. Wait, is it on the same side? Yeah, it is. I think it's really cool. Like, it's obviously just more of a Mario thing than anything, but I really like that they released the actual Splatfest tees. Uh, I am wearing arrow pull-ons, because that's a good ability. that lets me roll. This just gives me a lot of ink-ups, which I like. I haven't done grinded most of these out. Again, I don't really play this game anymore, so I'm not really in this for the abilities. In fact, I might... Whatever three abilities I get off these clothes, I might just keep on there. Uh, I'm probably gonna stick with the Clash Blaster Neo, because it's my old standby from before. Tenta Missiles are really good. Wait, that's what comes with a Tenta oh, That's weird. I thought it was something else. You cover a lot of ground really quickly with this. Gotta get used to the Pro Controller. Alright, ZL. ZR shoots. Takes two full power- two close range shots to kill. Four splash damages. Uh, it's got the Curling Bomb, which is one of my favorite sub-weapons, and if you hold it, it goes a lot f slower. Okay. B does this. X opens the map. Rotate with the controller. Y fixes the camera. Okay. What does L and R do? Oh, R is the sub-weapon. Does A do something? Hold on. Is 
special weapon is holding down. Okay, I think I got the hang of this now. I think I'm using... No, I'm not. Wait a minute. What do I have equipped? Hold on. How do I get out of here? There we go. I thought I had shadow. Uh, I thought I'd like sneak swim on. No, I don't. What do I have that has that? Uh... It's not a shoe ability. Is it a headset ability? I think that it was a shirt ability. I don't know what I had on before. That's so weird. I could have swore I had the uh, stealth swim on like a, a piece of headwear. Oh well, whatever. No stealth swimming for me. Alright, so it has been a hot minute since I've last played this game. In fact, the last time I streamed it was the last time I played it, which was one and a half years ago. It was July 2019. So I'm going to be total ass at this. don't think any friends are playing right now. Nine friends are online and none of them are in a game. Battle alongside- wait, normal pro? Wait a minute. I don't remember that. What is this? What's the difference between this and that? Want to go solo and push themselves to the limit in promo? Oh, right. They, they when they changed the rule set, they changed uh, how this works. Because it was originally solo and team, and now it's normal and uh, solo. And you inked this. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the clout, it, it, the clout score. Because you know me, I'm a big clout chaser. Uh, it works differently. Normal mode, you just get clout points. Um, pro mode is where the power is, and you only get points by winning. So I think what I'll do, it, yeah, they changed it because it, it used to be it used to just be solo and and uh, group up mode. Uh, cool. I'll do pro mode for a bit and then I'll do the normal mode because the normal mode is where the fun uh, multiplier things come into play. I think. I I think. Hold on. Let me double check on that. Oh, it's in both either mode, okay. And then there's a hundred times. I got when I did the last stream, so I just mentioned this. Uh I got a one hundred times battle on the very last match I did on that stream, and then I ended up our team ended up losing. And uh it was quite the anticlimactic finish to it. So let's let's maybe see if we can get something better this time. Hey. Oh, Pikmin Girl, that's my friend. And Revali, that's also my friend. Um, that's not the same Revali though. All right, let's get our so let's get our superstar power calculated. Loading times, the game.
I oh come on really uh, first match it's already gonna be a clone match so nothing happening here it's really frustrating that this is still a thing that happens in Splatoon 2 I really hope they fix this for the next game the bunker games all right uh, the, in the last Splatfest they gave every shifty station an official name in America it is based off of uh, novels and such. So this is based off the Hunger Games. And in Japanese, the titles are all based off of manga. Shonen manga. Ooh. Alright. It's been a year and a half. I knew that was gonna happen. Killed, but I took someone out. Right, and there's that. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I get a prompt on the screen to booyah, that's uh, that's the spirit bomb, the spirit booyah. game's motion controls are perfect. You get the nice, smooth uh, R-stick camera, but then you also... Oh, shit. Sniper. Oh, god damn it. But then you also get the, uh, the really, really accurate uh, motion control, which works really nice with the Pro Controller. Seventy-one, four hundred is the threshold for getting a bonus, so it's not too hard. No thanks to me, but we definitely won that. Thirty-seven. There's someone on the other team that was level one hundred and eight. Damn. Because it runs off the same thing as Tetris ninety nine, where it's eight star. Oh shit. Oh right, it's 7 p.m. Everything's updating. Moray Towers, Sturgeon Shipyard. I'm wondering if the Shifty Station still uh, swaps like it did last Splatfest. Normally it's the same one the entire time. But uh, during Final Fest it swapped every two hours. And then the final day it was... Um, those two people are playing together. Wait, how? Pro is solo. Interesting. Oh, maybe they joined from the menu. So I got uh, Clubhouse games today uh, on the DS. I figured uh, I really enjoyed the Switch one. 
And my friends loved the DS1 back in the day, so I was like, I'll, I'll see if I can get it cheap. And I found it very cheap. I got it for like 15 bucks. Full box and everything. Um, definitely a lot less... T it's... it's. God damn, why is it all the same team? Is there really no people from Team Mushroom in existence? It's fun. Um, definitely not as polished as... Uh, as uh, the Switch game feels. The mission mode stuff is also kind of weird. It's like fun, but it's also really difficult and kind of doesn't feel worth it. Oh yeah, it's a different sh shifty station. Uh, let me in. There we go. Shit. Alright, that, that inkling's gotta go. So if I'm not mistaken, the Tenta Missiles changed in later updates, so that now the less targets you hit, the more they get hit each. So it no longer feels like it's wasted, at least. Wow, they just completely pushed us back. This team is not very good. At least we know they're on our side. definitely hit the peak already. I mean, that's the stream in a nutshell. You, p you peak within the first 20 minutes and then it's over. Then it's just all downhill from there. Yeah, I'm not going to scrub this shirt at all. In fact, if I make a lot of... Uh... If I make a lot of cash here, I'm probably going to go to the weapon shop just because there's still quite a few weapons I have never bought in this game. I've also never... I, I, I can't remember if I got cut off the last few times I thought of this. I haven't got the DLC for this game yet. This or uh, Breath of the Wild. I might have to go back for, to both of those at some point before uh, Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. I started playing uh, Hyrule Warriors again last night and I am like... There's like 20-something side quests away from the end. Communication error. Cool. Wouldn't be Splatoon 2 without it. Glad I'm paying uh, 20 bucks a year for that. No, sorry. I'm paying 35 a year. <sighs> yeah. 
Yep. So is there any clout being earned for Team Superstar in this in this situation? Is Team Mushroom gonna win just because there's no people on it? Sniper. Don't forget to ink the spawn. My, my, uh, strategy has always been ink, the, uh, rush forward first and try to control the center, then get the spawn afterwards. Once you have, a uh, have control over it, like, once you get knocked out once, then, uh, then take over the spawn. Because that way, if you get a, a combined force in the middle, you're gonna overwhelm the opponent, and then once, once one of you inevitably falls, they can take their time and cover the bases. Literally. Literally cover the bases. Oh, they have backup over there. Well, whatever. We're, we're beating them pretty handily right now. That could change easily, though. Not having the DLC means I can't play as an Octoling. Not that it really matters. I'm not a huge fan of the Octoling design. Uh, to be honest, I'm not super big on the Inklings either. Like... They're okay. They got the very... They got a neat look to them. I don't really have a preference, though. Like, I don't really live or die by any particular design. That's why I just kind of play as the male Linkling, because whatever. Wow, I'm doing really bad on ink coverage today. I, I remember hitting, like, a thousand on, uh... on, uh, older, uh, older plays of this game. Again, I've only streamed this twice. Yeah, this arena's pretty big. Superstar Fiend. Plays a female inkling. Male ones are like like a neighbor I used to have. <laughs> really? Also, hey Izzy, how are you? How are you doing? Are you playing? Splatoon 2. It's like there's... Oh god, why am I... Why am I with someone who's a level 160? 
159, technically. 160, 114, 27, 37. Okay, now the fun part where I don't get to fight the other team. Yep. Well, that's cool. Team shoot. See, this is this is the unfortunate thing too, because team that means it's going to be easier for Mushroom to win, because they they have to win less matches overall. Normally, inking walls does not count towards your uh, points, but walls that move down like that one do. danger. So something I never really realized or noticed uh, that much until later on. Uh, the size of the icons show if you're in the lead or not. That was nice times with the music. Oh, come on. The whole team got wiped. Oh, they have the ink armor. the losing streak starts. I mean, it started last match, but this is why the stream is going to be like five hours long, because it's going to take me forever to hit the max rank. It's also really funny, because I'm probably never going to fight the other team, because it's non-existent. I'm doing better in points here. I don't know. I can't remember what other weapons I was good at when I was playing when I played this game like nonstop. Have you gone against any mushrooms yet? No. I've played three matches and all of them have been against the same team. I looked on my friends list and only one person was registered to Team Mushroom. The other, the other like nine or so people playing are on Team Superstar. sucked. It's a bird. It's a squid. Squid bird. So how you doing, Atman? It's cool to see you. Inked 40 per Okay. Maybe I've lost my edge with the blaster. Let me see what... Uh, squib herb. Yes. Let me see uh, what other weapons... Favorites, main, sub, special, favorites. Splusho met. There's no way I was using these. Was I using the NZAP 83? Glugadool? No. Not the... I've never used these. What does the red stamp mean? Turf inked. Oh yeah, I have used that. Okay, it actually. Okay, there we go. Turfed, turf, turfed, turf, turf ink. 
Um, 258616. So that's a little less. So I've been using the blaster way longer at this point. Yeah, a lot of these weapons are just never used. And Zap 85 I used for a bit. Splushomatic. I really use that a lot, huh? Of course, I use the Aerospray MG. This was the cheapest fucking weapon. Having a curling bomb launcher as a sub is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, it does look like this is the one I've used the most. Maybe I'll stick with it for now. Buck, buck. Sorry for the loud mechanical typing there. Okay. Oh, there they are. There's the mushrooms. The rare mushrooms have shown up. Use a Splattershot Jr. the most so far. Really? The one you start with? I mean, it's a decent gun. I'd say the regular Splattershot's better, but, um... The Aerospray MG is the cheap one, if you want to just plow through everything. got here orange orange ink i guess it kind of matches the red the orange red of a of a super mushroom but it's no superstar yellow okay cool we're doing terribly I always, like, grossly overestimate how good weapons are at killing. And I also feel like the opponents always have a weapon way better than what I have. Like, I don't know what they're firing right now, but that fucked me up with one hit. Whereas I'll, I'll be firing this off, like, eight times and they, and they don't take any damage. I know that's just, that's just my imagination, and that I'm just actually not good at the game. But, uh, that happens a lot during fighting games, too, where I'm just like... That's why I don't play them, because I'm like, oh, cool, I did all this effort, and look how little damage I did. And then, uh, the opponent hits you once, and you lose half your health bar. Ink for great justice, yes. Um... This gun, this gun is a very interesting, like, ink covering property. Like, it kind of covers a lot, but then it doesn't. Shit. Alright, if you die, you get less, uh, you lose special. It's rough. Oh, come on. So what is that now? Three losses and uh, one win. The one of the one win, which was against my own team.
And even, that wasn't even a clo that wasn't even a bad like a like a blowout too. We were just barely short of winning. Oh, that was the first time we saw any clout here. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're gonna be twenty pointing our way up to a uh, uh, hundred thousand. That's gonna be fun. Hundred thousand? I don't know how long, how many it is. I, th I think it's time to try something new here. It's surprising that I haven't forgotten the controls though. Aerospray PG. Booyah bomb. Oh, I could get the spirit bomb special. But it only comes with burst bombs, which aren't that great. Yeah, why not? Let's try the PG. Wait, what's that icon there? Do I have a buff of some sort? I thought you couldn't actually get buffs during battle. Like, I thought you had to get, uh, get it from the, uh, shirt or whatever. Also, they changed how the shirt works, too. Where now, if you already, if you already have it full, whenever you get a new, uh, ability, it just automatically gives you the chip for the, for one of the other abilities and knocks it off. So you don't actually have to scrub it. That's coverage. Just like we're gonna have coverage at my job on Monday because they refuse to give us holidays off. They're like, oh, well, we don't anticipate having any less work, so you all have to come in, but you're getting paid more. And it's like, yeah, but I'd rather have the day off. And But then the, the, the trade and the trade off is like, oh, well, I can't, if I have used PTO, I don't get the holiday pay. So it's like a double penalty if I take off on, on a holiday that most people already get off. And that's, uh, that's real cool, I guess. second your whole team gets splatted, that's like, that's that's the moment that you know the enemy's just gonna make a massive push on you and just completely screw you over. Please. Ah, oh, ha, 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 right. This gun can't really hurt people that well. Unless you're, like, right up in their face. Nice. The two people with that. Why? Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They pushed back at the last second. But we still won somehow. Okay. Can't go off what I see on the map. Not bad. Second best on that match. Yeah! I'm on Team Superstar, which means I'm invincible. I should be winning by default. Frames now. Oh, cool. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but it's back to the no clout zone, which is the stream in a nutshell. Every time, it's... I can never win a shootout, like, ever. Oh, we have too many people going down the, uh, the road here. Why did I stand there and just take it like a bitch? Oh my god. ground. Oh, you... That sucks. You can't charge it while you're despawned. That went nowhere. Sandwiched. And of course they activate their Booyah Bomb right after uh, I die, so I once again cannot contribute. won the pointless exhibition match, which is going to be a majority of what Team Superstar gets. It's funny, there was no point in me playing pro mode at all because I 
I've had like no matches against the other team. So even with that, I have gotten no clout. I think normal mode, you still get the clout if uh, you're facing the same team. Let's go for one more here on uh, pro and then I'll switch to normal for a bit. Current 1842.1. Highest, 1842.1. Clout, 1880. Yep. Another exhibition match. Exhibition. I honestly don't know what I expected. I should have I should have known better than to think that uh people would be lame enough to pick Team Mushroom. I'm joking. T Mushrooms are great. Uh, the, the, I like mushrooms in real like as food, and uh, mushroom superpower is great because it gives you an extra hit. Superstar lasts like five seconds, like I do whenever I play this game. And, uh, you know, it's good for short bursts, but it's like pressing on the easy win button. Okay, see, what you don't want to do is that. That, what I did right there, was an example of what not to do. And now that I showed off how not to do it, I'm going to show off how to do it. shitless when I hear that noise. I love when there's so many people right near your own base that, like, you just leave- Look, my whole team is out. Guys. Where are the superstars? That isn't superstar behavior. That min-maxing motherfucker. With his optimal ass gear. Pulled it out. We pulled it out in the end. Keep going until I lose one, which will probably be the next match, but hey. It it how it be sometimes. Hey, 
It'd be nice if I won this and actually contributed points to my team. That'd be cool, but no, it's not gonna happen. See, because here's superstars, so there's not gonna be any sort of multiplier in the match. The Splatfest is as rigged as the Electoral College. Oh. <laughs> why do we have that thing? Really, why? Why, why do, like, 12, like, 15 people, or however many, 52 people, uh, determine the fate of, uh, like, millions of millions and billions? That, that makes no sense to me. We should, we should get rid of it. I don't think, I don't think we need it anymore. I'm great at Splatoon until I actually have to play it. Then, uh... Yeah, you know. Isn't there the arrow spray? The, the cheap arrow spray? No, no. Come on. The meta has taught you better than that. Fuck. Alright, well, there goes the streak. The, the whopping one-game streak that I had. It hurts even more when you see your name at the top two slots. And you know, I didn't fuck up. Everyone else did. Narp. I'm gonna regroup for a minute. I think I have enough for another weapon now. Probably not enough for the, the most expensive ones, but... Also, I gotta see, what is my, uh, what buffs do I have right now? Oh, alright, that buff that I had, just, it, it gives you more points towards earning, uh, or a higher chance of getting that ability. Uh, I have almost no tickets for any money ups, which, are, which would really help me. Triple Fried Galactic Schwaffle. These both look del this looks delicious, man. I could go for something like really good to eat tonight, but I'm gonna end up making mac and cheese like I always do. All right, crunch that down. 
I don't know what I'm going to use the experience for, because at this point, the only thing you get out of it is... Uh, whatever they're called. The, the seashells. The three seashells, which, which no one knows how to use. I think two of them are used to, to two of them are used to clamp off the shit, while the third one's used to scoop the rest out. Cherry H3 nozzle nose, Kensa Dynamo roller, the fresh squiffer, Bamboozler 14 Mark 3, Kensa Midi Splatling, Heavy Splatling Remix. Nautilus 79, what is this? Let me try this out. Oh, no, this is a, uh... This is one of these. Not my strong suit. Does hold a charge. For a little bit, at least. Actually, this charge, that, that charge does last a while. Not, definitely not my type of weapon, though. Alright, well, the Splatlings, I think that's a little out of my wheelhouse. Uh... Probably not gonna go with either of those. The Squiffer is another charge one. What is the Kensa L3 nozzle nose like? Oh, oh no! I hate these. This has no rapid fire at all. You have to you have to manually jam on it, and it doesn't even do that much damage or cover that much area. I don't know what the what the advantage of this is. Like that's not good. That doesn't really work that well. Even like point blank that barely does 100 damage. Yeah. That's not good. I don't I don't like that. Not a big, not a fan. Cherry H3 Haas nozzle nose. Same thing. Though this one does go pretty damn far. That's really nice. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like this. Because when I'm trying to ink territory, then I have to be like, eh, eh, mash, 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 mash. I don't like that. Why would they make the gun like that? What is the point? Yes. No. Okay, so that's the nozzle. So we're gonna avoid the nozzle noses. Uh, di rollers, I've never been a big... They're fun, but they're not the easiest thing to use. Okay, very slow aerial. Very slow land. Splash damage is pretty good. What? That didn't hit at all for some reason. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, so this is definitely made for the aerial attacks. It's got a very specific range that it hits, but it almost instant kills at any at any length. Uh, sprinklers, those are okay. It's got the booyah bomb, which is nice. This is a very, very slow roller. But it kills pretty easily. Hmm. I think I might be into this.
If I rely on the setup, that gives me more speed up for, like, walking movement rather than swim. That might actually be very helpful. I can't buy- oh, I don't have enough for that, though. I need more. Well, I'll save up for that one. What are the other ones I haven't tried yet? Tento Umbrella. I'm not a big fan of the, the big umbrellas. sploosh -matic. This was one that I used a lot of. I do remember that weapon being used quite a bit. Fresh Swiffer. That's one where you have to, like, charge it for a second. Bamboozler. That might be the one where you can fire light and heavy? I don't know. Wait. Nope. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, the charge move. What is that? It's, oh, it's the shaky bomb. The faster you jam, the faster you shake that up, and then it explodes more. Alright, you know what? I think I'm gonna save it for that for that roller and have that be the weapon I use for uh for a bit. Curling bomb and spl why am I not using that weapon? That sploosh bomb, the sploosh matic sounds like right up my alley. Hold on. Kenso Lunar Blaster. Neo sploosh matic Yeah, I don't like that. Sp I don't like the the beacon. Not a fan. Blue-schematic. Yeah, I've used this quite a bit. Very nice. Oh, I see. I'm scrolling through uh, the different things here. One to 100 times battle. One to 10 times battle. That's my friend there in the middle, and the one crouching. I like that. It's cute. <laughs> that name. Stinky? Let us continue. Solo or friends? Uh, don't think anyone. Oops, I don't. I need to go to private battle. Yeah, no one's. Uh, no one's available here. All right then, randos it is. So this mode is a bit more, as you can probably guess, casual. Uh, you get clout just by getting points in this one. I thought this was the only place where the uh, the upgraded, the upgrade battles happen, the ten times and a hundred times, but they are not. Apparently, they can happen in pro mode, which is even more heartbreaking if you lose, because then you get nothing.
Oh, look. There's no mushroom people here either. So I'm like, so this is kind of shitty, because, like, Team Mushroom's going to have way easier time getting clout if uh, Team Star keeps fighting each other. Yeah, now I fuck! Stupid of me. Rain John, this isn't that good. All of those are coming after me. Okay, just gonna stay back here and cover the base. Oh, what? Fuck. this cool it's great when like you do amazing and like you're like oh man I'm doing so well and then you just look in the map there's just like 80% the opponent because that seems to happen to me a lot and it makes me wonder if I'm either not as good as I say I am or everyone else I play with just sucks ass it's kind of hard to determine that Actually, it is, it's easy to determine that, because once you get the results at the end, you get to see uh, exactly who had the lowest score. Because the lower you are on the score sheet, or on the uh, list, the worse you did. See, I'm second best here. That means those two bozos at the bottom not pulling their weight. Oh, good. And and that one bozo is, is back again. I mean, we all... I don't know. Everyone else... It, it's... it's. I'm not talking down to... Like, I'm not... They're, they're, whatever. You, you know what I mean. I'm just joking. I, I don't I don't think that they're bad. Or at least I don't know if they're bad or not. It's always possible the other team was just more skilled. Rather than that our team was bad. Man, could you imagine if I had streamed, like, every Splatfest up to this point, instead of just this one and the last one? It would have been weird having, uh, Splatoon be part of, like, the normal stream, like Tetris 99 is. Huh. 
<sighs> anyway, look, it's my team again. It's me versus me. And apparently, no, you, even in normal mode, no clout if you face, face the same team. So I guess Team Mushroom's just gonna win this by default because of uh, the fact that they're gonna only fight uh, their, their, the other team while, uh, while we're stuck fighting the same team over and over. Hey Kai, how you doing? Fuck. Yep, I'm wearing my uh, I'm wearing my shirt right now. Actually, I have my superstar shirt on. I also got the keychains because they went for they went up on uh, Club Club Nintendo on Friday. I ordered the the two keychain set that they had advertised. It was like 400 points, which is very cheap for a physical reward. happen I, I seriously hope we win I mean if we have more people we should win by default honestly I, I, the way that this, the way that the scores are graded seems very uneven, and it's always been like that for Splatfests. That first summer that Splatoon 2 was out though was was amazing. All the all the hype for the Splatfest then, which we, I, we have not seen since. Cake versus ice cream, mayonnaise versus ketchup. That summer was just very fun. I, I had my money from my part-time job that had finished. I didn't have my full-time job yet. I was still just kind of enjoying myself while, while stuff was happening at home. It was like the only time I really appreciated being unemployed. Come on, why is everyone up here? I think we won that. Yeah, I think we definitely win that. going. Flat roller I wanted is like 30,000, 32,000, so I still got a ways to go. Hey, look, mushrooms. It's like an event. It's, it's a rare occurrence seeing the team you're facing against in the Splatfest. Yeah, I know. It's. I feel like Team Mushroom's gonna win easily. Also, it's a ten times battle. That's cool. 
I feel like Team Mushroom's gonna win because they're gonna get more clout, because they're gonna face the other team so much more often than we do. Since that's the majority of the of the ranking, it's pro clout, normal clout, and then popularity. It's a shame too, because these ink colors are really nice. I love the uh, the gold and orange, red orange. Splatted Delta. His motives are very complex. My motives are incredibly complex. Wow, we are wrecking them. Oh, wait, no, they're pushing in. Uh, I better... Honestly, this should have been the first Splatfest. Ketchup versus Mustard. The thing is, uh, mayonnaise is way more popular in Japan than mustard. So that's why it was ketchup versus mayonnaise. It's also different because Japanese mayo is very spicy and, and has a different kind of flavor to it. It's really good. If you've never tried it, I, I definitely recommend it. It's made slightly different. Chicken and Egg was another good one. Werewolf versus Vampire was a good one. Flight versus Invisibility was a good one. It'd be nice to win the 10 times battle so that I could show up on my friends' uh, notifications at least. Yeah, you missed a lot of them. You didn't get the game till it was, like, almost done. They redid a few of them, though. Um, I think they redid Chicken and Egg recently. Or they redid the Halloween one. Of course, the 10 times battle, the mushroom team will win. Oh, cool, and I got a communication error too, so I don't know if I even get any of my stats now. I hope I did. I hope that's calculated the minute the match ends. Yes, it is. I have 849 clout, which could have been, you know, 8,490. Still, nothing beats the final fest. When I when I got to the end, the last match, it ended up being a 100 times match, and then our team lost. And I was just like, "Yep, that's how this that's how this the splat fests end with with a major loss." That's par for the course for me. That was so depressing too. Like that would have been such a perfect finish. What was that purple tuft that just happened on my, uh... Oh, one of them, one of us dropped out. Yep. God damn it. This game is really not balanced well for dropouts and, uh, Splatfests. I did all but one Splatfest. I registered for all of them, but there was one I didn't participate in, and I can't remember which one it was. Um. But it was because of work. I was just, I, I, it, at that point I was already working, and I, I just missed the event. Because what was it? 2017 is when Splat Splatoon 2 came out. Uh, and then I got my job at the end of 2018. And it was one of the ones in 2019 leading up to the final fest that I missed. I was registered for it. I just never, uh, never participated. 
Oh, uh, you almost missed the final one. That one was fun. I love the gimmick that they had with that, with all this, with all the shifty stations coming back, the special one showing up, the, the special music and everything. They really planned it to be like a finale, and then they went ahead and did a bunch more anyway. Well, they did one more. This is the first new one since Final Fest. All the other ones have been replays, but still. Yeah, the shifty, the final shifty station was uh, really good. That was MC Princess Diaries, I think. I like how you could use them all now, too, in private matches. Okay, would have helped if I hit him at all. I think that's partially why they brought some of them back. Just because of the fact that there was not, not a lot going on this year. And they were like, oh, well, we can uh, we could just reuse the Splatfest we've had already. And we're going to throw another one soon anyway, so we might as well. That said, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to participate in any others unless it's another, another new one. Which, I don't know what will happen with that. Maybe there'll be a Zelda one this year, because this is Zelda's anniversary. What used to say? God. I wonder why they stood there. Every time I see the custom Splattershot Jr., I think of the, the star on it with the colors along with the fact that it's called the Jr. makes me think of Carl's Jr. Because it has like the star, the star logo. I've never eaten at a Carl's Jr. before. Their food looks uh, edible. Speaking of, I wish I could go for something tonight. Wow, look at that map. It's like my team didn't even try. The, yeah, the Carl's Jr. gun. Oh my god, if I'm the top spot on that team, then that was really... Then I can't vouch for the rest of that team being good. At all. Heard of, heard of it, never seen one. It's Hardee's too. Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are the same place, apparently. They're the same food. Oh yeah, Kai, I got, um, this, this, the past couple days I'd ordered a copy of, uh, Clubhouse Games on DS, just because I never had it, and I really liked the Switch one. So I was like, you know what, I want to get the DS one. So I just got that today. I've been playing it. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. I don't know if you played the original Clubhouse Games, but I figured that'd be, uh, something you might like. fourth on our team yet. Yeah, the original Switch version is awesome. The Switch version and the and the DS games are made by different companies. The DS one, the Switch one was made by ND Cube, and Switch our DS was made by uh, Switch was made by ND Cube, and uh, the DS one was made by uh, I don't know. Oh wow, JoJo. Uh oh. 
Doesn't say. It just says Nintendo. It was made by a different studio, though. It's it's not as convenient. There's a lot, there's a lot less conveniences in the DS one than the Switch one. But there's also I can also see why a lot of people like the Switch one or the DS one over the Switch one. There's some games that are only in it. Not everything from it is in uh the, the Switch one. Also, there's actual like mission modes and stuff to clear, unlike the original. Well, I guess the Switch one is more about play just mastering each game. The DS one is more like here's here's some missions that let you play the game differently. Try to complete these. You could get it online. You could get it pretty cheap too. Um, I got a copy in box with all the with all the inserts for about fifteen bucks. Also, I gotta say, so uh, uh, last year for Christmas, not the, the one that just passed, but the year before that. Uh, I, my, I got my 3DS replaced with a new 2DS XL. That system is really good. I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on it, but it is a very nice, sleek, uh, version of the 3DS. Even if the system itself just feels very outdated now. I've kind of really gotten into, uh, the idea of collecting systems and, and games physically lately. Oh, why didn't I, why didn't I hit her? What are you doing? That's cool. I'm glad my team just kind of sat there and, and let this happen. You don't think your capture card's working? What capture card do you have? I have uh, an Elgato 60 Pro, eight, or whatever it is. Not the Pro, I have like the second version of it. That was like 60, 70 bucks. It's not bad, it's worked. It's worked for the Switch, and that's Switch and PS4, and that's all I stream right now. And that and PC. I am gonna get a cable to let me stream from my iPhone if uh, that Battle Network uh, mobile phone game is announced, because I will absolutely stream that. Hapwag HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. That sounds very fancy. Great. Uh, good. You have to cancel your Animal Crossing stream last minute because of it. That sucks. I hope you can figure out what uh, what went wrong with it. My the Elgato works, but it's had issues before. Like I've had problems with this game, not with this uh, system. Oh, cool communication error. Glad people are as sore of a loser as I am. Um, we've had I've had issues where like the sound won't come through, or like the settings just get completely reset. Wow, I still haven't earned enough to get that thing yet, huh? Oh, cool. That's that's how bad we're doing here. All right, let me just uh. Alter this a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, I was listening to old streams last night. Hey, look, there you are. You won a ten times battle. After this match, I'll try to get it so we can get into a match together. Oh, thanks, Kai. I appreciate that. After I, uh... Oh, nice. We got, I, got, I got the other team. After we get through this, I have to get through this, I'll try to, uh... Coordinate something. Oh yeah, I've had a few issues, like sometimes the, sh the sound just doesn't work, and sometimes one time I had to like unplug everything and plug it back in. Three win streak. I don't know, I don't know why I'm on this team.
That's what I keep forgetting to do. Throw these things forward and, and ride them into the center. Yeah, I got two of them out already. Oh, I thought there was a pit right there for a second. Oh man, that would have been bad. I think it's the individual power supply. I've just been too cheap and uh, lazy to replace it. It's possible. Mine, mine just, mine just plugs directly into the computer and the uh, and the HDMI. I don't have any phantom power for it. Not phantom. Actually, no, it is phantom power. There's no plug. <laughs> but yeah, I've been I've been listening to some of my streams lately, some of my older ones. I went back and listened to when Animal Crossing first came out, and man, uh, my voice cracks way too much. I need to fix that. Okay, we we need to push back here. We're losing to the other team again. doing Fuck. Oh, really? Just gonna roll me from both ends, huh? God, why is this team not doing good? Why are we so bad at this? With how often I'm splatting them, they should be getting pushed back pretty hard here. Not good enough. Team Superstar, you're dropping the ball. Wow, Clout. Here's something I haven't seen yet. more money do I need? Like 4,000? Back out for a second. <laughs> I think, so, I said this before, but I'm gonna finish Dark Dawn stream tomorrow. Three, two, yeah, I need about 4,000 more. I need a little more than 4,000, actually. I need 4,200. Sprinkler and Booyah. But, well, I'm not a fan of the Sprinkler, but... Hold on a second. Range, Ink Speed, Handling. I want to see if there's any others with like stats like that that I already have. Flingza, Dynamo... Ink armor. I'm not a big fan of that that bonus. Foil flings a roller. This might not be bad. Let me try that. Thing is, those stats never equate to damage. Ever. I 
I think this might be just as good. I guess the upside with that armor is that you just kind of set it and forget it. Lemon juice. Alright, you know what? that gold dynamo roller. All right, that's what I was looking at. Let's try switching it up a bit. Carbon Roller Deco. What is that special? Oh, that's like the, the walking bomb spam. I don't like that idea, though. It was like a weapon that I remember being like really stupid. Goo Tube, or maybe that was it. There it is. Gold Dynamo Roller. Alright, let's see... If I can get, if I have any, wait, what's this? Run speed up. Uh, hmm. This is regular run speed up, which is probably even better, honestly. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the way it works is that if it's run speed up as a main ability, then you get, um, you get more than I think two sub run speed ups but you have if you have three run speed ups it equals out all right let, let me check actually i want to see because obviously i'm not going to be getting anything with like a massive amount of it on right now but this has run speed up as well use the crack on splat roller oh this is this is more than one thing is it's also return diminishing returns on them or something the more you have the less effective it is we said the crack in special I never played Splatoon 1, I never Wii U. That's on my uh, to-get list at some point. Maybe I'll maybe I'll ask Scott the Waz if he wants to sell one of his five Wii U's that he has for some reason. That dude. I only started watching his videos a month ago and they're so funny. Alright, hold on. Sub ability to ability. Splatoon 2. Splyoon 2. All pieces of gear from primary ability. All pieces of gear have one, two, or three slots for secondary ability, which are 0.3 times as effective as if they were primary. The number of secondary abilities that are present under default is equal to the number of stars in the gear. Secondary ability and slots on a gear are unlocked by getting points by playing battles. While that gear is a, okay, rolling probability. Favored brand, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no, I want to stacking. Here it is. Players can use more of an ability to, for, the, for an exact details on effects of stacking. In general, the more specific, specific the more a specific ability is stacked, the less additional effect is accumulated. The degree at which this occurs depends on the ability. Demonstrate the concept. The following stacks. Okay. Run speed up. Dotted line. Kind of caps off. It kind of raises steadily. Ten mains. Three subs. Wait, 10 mains? What? Don't you mean 3 subs, 9? Ugh, I don't know. Run speed up increases movement speed on the ground when in humanoid form, except when rolling and painting with a roller. Oh, so it doesn't even matter. It doesn't affect the roller.
The only the only thing it affects in terms of weapons, uh, or the only things it, it affects in terms of specials for the roller is if it has inkjet. Does not affect how far a player can jump. You have one, two, the Octo Expansion, all three of the Splatoon albums. I don't have Octo Expansion yet. I need to play that at some point. I'm thinking maybe this year, but it's not owned yet, so I don't consider it on my backlog. Uh, all right, sorry. I'm just just want to check here. So run speed up's not really going to help me, huh? I'm probably better off just with what I got here. Double egg shades. this game i do I, I really do i do miss playing it i maybe i should get octo expansion this year just so i could have an excuse to go back to it all right let's see if we can get this working no we don't want to go private online lounge no How does it work? Like, we don't set up a... Yeah, because Private Battle doesn't count for Splatfest. Um... Also, I find it funny. They're using this friend symbol. They don't use that anymore. Nintendo Switch doesn't use that symbol for friends. That's a 3DS symbol. Oh, right. Regular. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot about that. Create room. Uh, yeah, no. Keep that off because I don't want to load anything up while I'm here. Set password. No. I don't think we're going to get enough people to really warrant needing a password here. I don't know why you can't just do pro mode with other with friends as well. Like it's not like you're not fighting for the same team. Okay, we're ready. Oh wait, no, recruit more players. We just open it again. Or wait, no. Does this work? There we go. All right. No. Oh, I see what happened. You. Uh. I have, we have to wait for everyone to hit ready. Makes sense. So it's fanboy, fiend, defender, champion, and then queen and king. I believe, right? That's how it works. I see myself on here. I'm really confused. This app never really was the best. Violence. Uh oh. The 
Booyah Bomber crew. Man, that takes a long time. You really need to commit. Inspire you to get Octo Expansion. I'll, I'll check that out after this match. Um, I mean, the trailer for it really pulled me in. Thing is, Octo Expansion came out when I was still unemployed, so I was like, uh, I, I don't have the money for this. And then by the time I, by the time we got to, uh, I got my job, I was already like full up on other stuff to play. God, getting stuck in a in a puddle is the worst. situation. Yeah. by Canyon. Uh, nah, probably not. We missed spots. Ooh. This keyboard. Oh yeah, it's the trailer music. Yeah, I know that. I love that song. That song is really good. I remember I I remember we I was doing like a music meme when that trailer came out. I was like, yeah, this song just came out and it's great. I love it. When I was listing favorite video game songs. Oh, it says oh, it says my rank underneath it. Champion, defender, 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 king. Defender, defender, champion, champion. Champion, defender, champion, 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 king. Which one didn't I participate in? That's weird. I have Defender in all of them. Maybe I did participate in at least one of them. I 
have to listen to that later. I I think I know which song it is, because uh, I know there's a couple spoilers for the story and the soundtrack. I didn't play Splatoon 1, so apparently like the big twist at the end of that is going to be kind of lost on me. That said, I do know the plot, so why didn't I come in contact with them? Whoa, 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 stop. Do you play by you? I use both. Uh, I tilt the stick for precise movements, and then I um, I use the controller for more general movements. The thing is, Splatoon's motion controls always like they always kind of default to facing up after a while, and it kind of does throw me off. But I will say that actually using it, this is probably these are probably the best motion controls on the Switch. I'm out of ink already, damn. Nuts. Alright, I gotta I gotta get that point down there. Nope, never mind, someone else is already going for it. We got, we got this one. Nice job. Still not getting anyone with it, though. Not good up close. Maybe I should try sniper rifling. All right, let me look at my Splatfest stats again. I didn't participate in the mayo versus ketchup rematch, or the chicken and egg rematch, or the trick or treat rematch. I skipped those. Um, Chaos King, normal defender. So that means I at least reached ranked two or three. Yeah, two champion. Because it's Fanboy Fiend. Oh, here it is. Pancake versus Waffle. I, I didn't participate in that one. That was February of uh, 2019, so about two years ago. Uh, I, I registered for it, but I never actually participated because I was just... A work, work was very annoying, and I was just too tired to uh, make the time for it. That was right around when I started really disliking the job, too.
Uh oh. This shifty station again. Keep forgetting that all specials do refill your uh, ink, which is very useful. <laughs> I've listened to most of the Octo Expansion soundtrack. I've seen some, a lot of it streamed. I just didn't watch the ending. Which, I mean, I, I kind of... I, I can already guess what happens just based on comments, but... Oh, no. I don't know how they won out on that, but whatever. Oh, it doesn't matter. This match isn't for Cloud anyway. Paying attention. Yeah, you could control the cannon on this one. That's the one thing. The shifty stations all were really cool because they all had their own unique gimmicks. Some of them have like areas that permanently just like lock out after a while. And it was like everyone was like, well, why? It, it sucks that these just can't be replayed whenever we want, and now you can in private matches. back way too hard. They have a bunch of beacons up, that's why. Shoot. Oh, not, that, like that, not like that was really going to help. still rumbling. I'd rather lose against my own team than the other team. Wasn't our best hour there? Is this? Oh, birds! Birds! So let's see. Uh, I could talk about stream plans again. Yeah, level 170. There's people in Tetris 99 that are like level 200, and I'm just like, wow. Splatoon, I can understand, but putting that much time into Tetris is ridiculous. You also own. A, you also have a pair of Mario pajamas on. Nice. I, um, I have a bunch of design shirts now. I have a fat Chocobo shirt, uh, a Chocobo Airlines shirt, which is a parody of the, uh, Dodo Airlines shirt. I have a Fully Cooly shirt that, for, that I've had for about a year and has huge fucking pit stains on them, which I, I can't get off. I have a, uh, and then I have this shirt and I have my Mega Man Battle Network shirt too. I'm just wearing sweatpants with the shirt. I've I've worn sweatpants every day since this whole thing started. Well, since it got cold. But uh ever since we worked from home, I've either been wearing jean shorts or sweatpants. There's no in between.
Yeah, I'm a, I'm a sweaty person. <laughs> I sweat a lot, so I try to avoid getting the shirts uh, ruined. But I think that 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 uh, ride on shooting star shirt I got is a little too far gone. Mailu and Chiba. Quantum, we fought that person like multiple times already. Yeah, I've bought a lot of shirts this past year. A lot of shirts, a lot of art commissions, just a lot of stuff that I couldn't, wouldn't have bought if I had been going on vacation like I should have. I don't feel necessarily wear them again. I kind of cycle through the same five shirts. Like I have ones for I have two Anthrocon shirts because the year I went, 2019, I not only bought the shirt that the convention was selling, but then I got like the traditional like logo one that everyone has that goes to that thing, and uh, that's the one I actually wanted. So now I just have two Anthrocon shirts for 2019. How come I get splatted immediately when I go in that, but when I try firing at someone with the cannon, I get killed? Right now, like, all of my shirts are design shirts, just because I have no reason to own anything nicer. I don't go out, ever. And even if I did, even if I went to the office, I'd still be- I, I, the only difference is I'd be wearing jeans instead of my sweatpants. Because my job does not have a dress code at all. We are a very casual, uh, startup. In some regards, at least. A second longer. Ah, shoot. Great PG. That's what I was using earlier. Uh, I used the silver one quite a lot when the game first came out until everyone said it's the cheapest weapon. And then I was like, alright, I'll stop using it. Just because have, being able to spam the uh, the curling mines is, or curling bombs is ridiculous. Stay here. Oh, they really did that. They did that last minute pushback. We lost. Yeah. I hate. I really hate when that happens. Like the the, the like the ten second loss at the end. That happens to me way too often. I know. That's how I feel, too, when that happens. I'm definitely not doing great with this, uh, weapon, though. How much money do I have right now? Still need one more to get another, uh... To get that other roller. Which I think is the same as this one anyway, so it really doesn't matter. In terms of the actual weapon. This is probably better anyway for me with the uh, the ink armor. I'll um I'm gonna I'll, I'll dip out after the next battle and just uh buy the weapon and then uh change weapons and probably come back. You're close to king. Nice. 
I keep forgetting that they changed it like halfway through the game's life, where they changed the how, how the points work, because it used to just be 99 points, but then you also got less points per match. Now they they made it higher because you could get a lot more multipliers that give you like partial points. But yeah, once I hit king, I'm probably gonna stop. Um, so I'm hoping I can win a few. Ah. Oh. Oh, never mind. I guess I'll be uh, switching weapons now. Let's see. Let's see. What's something I haven't used? Enzapped 83. Eh, that's not really my thing. I'm not really a dually user. I I've had some fun with them, but... Uh... These are fun, the ones that let you dash five times. The only downside is you don't you're not invulnerable during it. Blob Blobber's fun. That's the one that everyone complains about because it's so broken. You know what? I might give this a try. I might give this a try. What are the other ones? Slosher, Slosher Deco. Try Slosher. No, that's the broken one. That's the one everyone hates. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna be cheap. I'm gonna use the uh the try slosher for a bit. Change your clothes. I don't know what I, I don't know what I've changed my clothes to here. Um, what does this have? Special up? Eh. Not really for the ink storm. No, I'm not doing that. Main power up increases ink coverage. Oh, it actually tells you what it does. I don't like the look of that though. This I love the look of. Boost your speed while moving for the first thirty seconds. Increases ink tank refill rate. Upgrade special weapon. See, I like that because it makes me be able to refill quicker. Uh, what do we got here? Run speed up. A lot of run speed up. This was another one I used a lot of. Swim speed up and bomb defense up, ink resistance up, sub power up. Cap of legend. Decreases amount of ink. Ink saver. Bomb defense. I think I might keep that on. What about shoes? I like this this one because it has the rolling ability. Stealth jump, uh, I guess. I don't to be honest, I don't super jump a lot as is. I don't really have a preference here. I'm just gonna stick with what I got. I got, I got the lobby back up. Actually, it's probably gonna... Wait. Actually, don't don't even bother. Um, we're gonna... We'll wait a couple minutes because the maps are gonna change in, uh, like, two minutes anyway. I'll just do a solo match, uh, for now. Because we're gonna get kicked out of the... We're gonna get kicked out of the team anyway. I still have this bag of shredded... Yeah, speaking of squid, I still have this bag of really stinky, shredded, dried squid under my desk, and uh, I think I'm just going to throw it out because the, the fish smell is unsettling, and it's not the kind of snack that I, w that I wanted. It's not what I thought it would be. And I... Oh, oh, God, I can actually smell the fish now because I lifted the bag up. I wanted a very specific, uh, squid snack, but, uh, I, I ended up getting a bag that was just, like, 
Very generic, bland taste. Oh, good. Doubles. Sean's playing Peggle 2. When did he be- When did he get into that? I mean, don't get me wrong, Peggle's a great game. I'm just surprised he's streaming it. Wait, what? Where's the- The Tri-Slosher? I didn't equip it? Oh, fuck. That was stupid of me. Well, whatever. After this match, we'll fix that. This weapon's pretty broken too, honestly. It gets a lot of range. You have Peggle for your iPod. I've never played Peggle. I was tempted to get Peggle 2 when uh, it came out just because uh, a lot of people, like, there was a couple people I watched online that really liked it. It just feels like a very obscure game for me now to, to be playing. I purpose- yeah, sorry Kai, I purposely didn't do the, the team again just because the maps are going to rotate out in another two minutes anyway. Not even two minutes, it should be rotated already. Um, I didn't want to bother because I knew we'd be kicked right out. Plus, I forgot to set the right weapon anyway, so... Yeah, they just rotated. I really... Some of these sub-weapons are just really not good. There we go. Just focus on specials. Yeah, I do too, but I will say the curling bomb is very useful. I, I, I do not like not having that, or at the very least, not having uh, the regular Splat Bomb. Like, the Sprinkler and the, and the Wall here, I'm not a fan of. That Soda Bomb is pretty cool, too. It's a little pointless, but it's, it's, it's useful if you know how to use it. Ide my ideal setup... That's why I like the, the Arrow Spray, the cheap one, because it had Curling Bomb launcher as the special but uh the ideal setup for me is curling bomb tenta missiles yes oh wow we got royally screwed at the end there this weapon does work pretty well though if the if the tri slosher doesn't work out for me i might stick with this one for a bit and I see why everyone uses it. This this weapon just goes everywhere. Yeah, it's some pretty damn good range. It just doesn't uh it just doesn't cover a lot of a lot of uh space. Splat six people. I wish this was based on a number of splats. That'd be amazing. Oh, I could buy that, uh, I could buy that roller now, too. Let me back out, buy the roller, put that thing on. Oh, oh no, that fish smell. Sprinkler and Booyah Bomb. So what, how many weapons? Wow, I still have a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weapons I haven't bought yet. Q 
Okay, where's that tri slosher? No, not the nouveau. That doesn't. I don't like the the add-ons for that one. Sloshing machine neo. That's the one that does the spiral. That's pretty cool. Sloshing machine. There it is. Try slosher. I'm ready to be cheap. Split Tendo Discord. back up. Just let me know uh, once you're ready. Right, streaming plans. Keep forgetting to, to circle back on that. Tomorrow, I was going to do the Bravely Default 2 final demo, but it's just the beginning of the game, and the game it's save date apparently doesn't carry over, so I'm just, I'm not going to bother. The demos for the last, other the other Bravely games had, like, unique stories, so that was worth doing, and it had, like, cool bonuses to carry over, but apparently the demo doesn't have anything worth doing on it uh, that's not already going to be in the full game. Actually, wait, does the save data carry over? Nope, it's a second... Okay. Oh, that was the other demo, though. Oh, Yoshi. Why are we paying you $20 a year for this? Alright, gonna try again. Could be giving them twenty dollars a month. That's true. Splatoon has always been very iffy, though, with its connections. I've always had a lot of problems with them. Okay, as far as I could tell, the Bravely Default Two final demo does not carry over to the full game. Full playthrough. It's two. A How can you have a full playthrough with only two hours of, of content? That makes no sense. The thing's time locked at five. Oh, sorry. Okay, we got it. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, there's no word. There's no word about the save data carrying over to uh, the full game. What I'll do is I'll probably wait. I'll keep it downloaded, and if they say there's some bonus for carrying it over, I'll do it. But apparently, it's just the first, the beginning of the game as just like a separate program. So I'm not going to stream that because if I play the game, I'm going to have to do it over anyway. Uh, I was going to do that Sunday. Instead, I'm going to do go finish Golden Sun Dark Dawn, which I didn't finish last night because I got hung up with uh, other people online. So I'll be finishing that tomorrow. Then this upcoming week, I'll probably be finishing Mega Man Network Transmission. And once that's done, I might do Mario Sunshine. Just to do another Mario game on that uh, collection. But I'm also going to probably be doing Mario 3D World next month when that comes out. So I don't know. You need new capture cards, you can stream more new obscure Nintendo games. I would say just get the, um, well, actually, no, the, uh, the Elgato. The problem with the Elgato is it's HD only. So if you don't have HDM HDMI converters, uh, it won't work. For, for older systems, at least. Zap 83. I have a red, I have an orange zapper. It's it's lighter than that one though. I know the original zapper didn't look like that. The original zapper just looked like a gun. They're all bunched up there. They should put uh they should put Duck Hunt on the NES Online app and let you use the Joy Cons as pointers. Oh no, scratching my back is not good when I'm wearing this shirt. The design on the back of the uh, Splatfest tee is, is very, very thick. And therefore I cannot scratch my back through it. The problem with all the broken weapons is you need to be good at getting up in their faces to do that, and I am not. Jump right into that. Hmm. Hello? Button. Wasn't working. Okay. I gotta really scratch my back right now. Oh. We lost, but we got close. <sighs> yeah, the Japanese zapper actually looks like a, just a straight up gun. I have this, I, I have, I believe it's the second edition Z NES zapper. Because that's the orange one. The original one was gray and uh, two shades of gray. The one I have is orange and, uh... Orange and gray.
which is the same one uh, Captain N used in the cartoon. Give the Japanese and American Grey Zappers. Cool. So between the two of us, we have all three of them. Come on. This, I'm tired of seeing my team here. <laughs> I want to fight the other guys. I just realized this is the exact kind of weapon I said I didn't like with the, having the rapid tap. At the same time, though, it just covers so much more ground than the other ones. Yeah, that's the one I have, the 89. Oh no. Just bombarded the second I got in there. Super jumping is probably not a smart idea here. Try slosher is working out for me. I might have to go back to the, uh, the blob lover just to get the range on it. Okay. I might do something really stupid tonight and door dash uh, White Castle. It's because I know they're open late usually. Actually, I have to see because I don't know. I don't know what's gone down. for everyone involved. Let me change my gear. White Castle. How long do they take orders? Uh, 
Ah. What is the point of the Splatfest? Anchovy games. I've only played on this map like a few times. This was one of the later ones. In fact, these bounce off walls just makes this really good. I'm not the biggest fan of the ink cloud and, and the sprinkler's annoying, but hey, I'll I'll take it if this weapon gets me some wins. Uh, I was about to say, where the where the heck is the team? Where where are the opponents? I always thought it was weird that Inkling in uh, Ultimate is based off of Splatoon 1 Inkling and not Splatoon 2 Inkling, but I guess uh, Ultimate was already in development when this was uh, coming out. So they already had the plans finalized for Splatoon 1. The Killer Whale is not even a special in this game, it's only used on that one special Splatfest stage. I am hitting my stride with this one. I think I might be sticking with this. Well, there we go. Pretty good hold on that. Yeah, we got it. Missed a giant spot up there. Wow, nine KOs. Very nice. Cool. One rank to go. I getting from White Castle later? Uh, sack of French fries. No, there's one thing I yeah. If there's one thing I want from a, a burger place that makes very unique burgers, it's gener generic crinkle fries. Uh, cheese slider combo meal. I wonder if I can make that. Yeah, jalapeno cheese. I can. Four burgers. A drink. I kind of want something with more. I don't want to. Here we go. Sack. Yeah, cheese slider stack. But you can, I can only get normal. Nah. If I... <laughs> all the french fries. When I get when I get White Castle, I get... Uh, I get the burgers. Just because it's what they're known for.
honey mustard ink. Not expecting that. No, not this again. Not bad. I've almost got a thousand points already. I was not even aiming for that person. That's great. is handed to us. Why couldn't we have lost the last battle and won this one? It's going to be a long slog to a thousand points. I have how much time? Uh, well, I started early tonight. I usually stream for three hours, but I started a little earlier, so I can go a little longer if I need to. As long as I'm done by about midnight. Which, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm starving, so I would like to get this done sooner rather than that long, but I have to just see real quick. Yeah, midnight. Midnight's when I gotta stop. as long as I need. Yeah, no. Well, I mean, I, I want to... I've already been streaming 
Nice. Uh, I've already been streaming for two hours and 45 minutes. I usually stop at three, but I can keep going until I get the rank. Oh, yes, this one. Love these. Whoops. I went right through that grate. Thankfully, that doesn't incur a huge penalty. <laughs> Okay, come on now. Why is this team, like... This team shouldn't be this good. Wow, we're not even getting a chance here. sucked. Wow, of course, and of course it's the 10 times battle. So, so far, I have lost to the other team every match except one. See, this is the one where we're going to get the 100 times battle and we will win it at the end. So I'm led to believe at least. Now this is the match we'll end up winning. The one that doesn't count. Honestly, that's the thing that frustrates me. It's just the thing that, yeah. It's it's the worst part of the Splatfest. Just the constant having to fight your own team. And then, like, not even care. Like, I don't even... It's, it's so hard to care about this match.
Then again, do I really even care about the Splatfest at all? You know what? I, I just care about winning the 100 times battle. I want to do it once, and I want I want to get my name on that thing so my friends can see it. Wow, look at that. Specials everywhere out of nowhere. Mm. Here's the problem. If I don't start winning some matches, it's going to take me... Five for a hundred times ten. It's going to take 50 matches to get to the final rank if I keep getting 20 points. So I really need to start winning some matches to kind of alleviate that, otherwise I might just stop before I hit that point, because... I think I might switch back to a, a traditional weapon after this. None of these are working out for me. <laughs> I thought the Blob Lobber was doing good, but... I clearly am not, uh, playing optimally with it. I mean, also, playing optimally doesn't matter much when you spawn and immediately get killed by a super, de uh, splashdown. But, you know, whatever. to throw my special. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the Clash Blaster Neo is probably close to my favorite weapon. Just because the setup for it is so good. I'm getting pretty, pretty hungry, and I have been streaming for almost three hours. I might, I might actually end up stopping soon, at least for streaming, just so I can eat, but I don't know. But maybe what I'll do is at three, uh, in like ten minutes or so, I'll order the food, and then when it arrives, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll duck out. I 
I am a, I'm a it, see to me it's like also weird because it's like early and I'm still ending my stream this early I don't usually start streaming at like like seven o'clock that's when I used to start streaming when I was unemployed nowadays I stream from midnight until three in the morning usually you a chance to catch some of it. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong, I kind of want to stream earlier, but at the same time, I just never can get it to happen. I think what I might do tomorrow is I might try for a double stream if I can, like one right after dinner at like around seven or so, and then, whoa, and then one later on as well. But also tomorrow's stream might be a longer stream in general, so I don't know yet. Because tomorrow's stream is going to be uh, the rest of Dark Dawn, which could be like four or five hours, depending on how long it takes me to uh, do the hidden stuff. But if I finish it, then afterwards I might go back to Mega Man for a bit. Start plowing through transmission. I kind of don't want that game to go beyond the rest of the next week. Because I want to do Mario Sunshine, and I want to make sure that's done before 3D World comes out. Ah, I dodged it and I still didn't get to fire it off. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, we're, we're losing now. Actually, no, they've lost half their team. Okay, so we're kind of even. Never mind, they just overtook it the last second. Shit, man. We we were doing good and then they they got us at the very last second. I cannot believe that happened. Every time. That's such a pain in the ass. I, I need a good finisher to go out on here. If I don't hit max rank, I need a good finisher then. Take a sip of water. something to like talk about I 
don't got nothing to say here. I don't know how much damage you have to do to a roller to, to splat the person in there, but it's more than I'm capable of outputting. Oh, neat. Three, three of the four people on my team are done, which means I'm the only one here. And there I go. I'm beginning to think I'm not that good at this game, and I don't actually like it as much as I say I do. Why are all my teammates here with me? Why? Now we're pushing back at the end. Pushing back, but not made yourself another drink. Nice. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. Why am I actually losing every match? Like, this can't be because of me, right? No, I'm at the top of the list here. I had the most in coverage. Like, I'm not... I'm not that bad at this game, am I? Alright, I got another, uh... I got another uh, badge, that's cool. Stomach is starting to hurt though.
And there's our team again. Yeah, I need to order those burgers. We have three rollers on our team. Oh man. We better plow through them. God, my butt's sticking to the seat. That's an I've been playing too long sign. Yeah, that's what playing this game feels like, having that many targets on me. Uh, it's like, do I even try at this point? I got 400, I got 400 points, so I'm gonna get as much as I could get out of this. Blah, blues. Yeah, we've been getting really unlucky. White Castle lists 10 cheese sliders as a meal for two people. I just want to go up to whoever came up with that and laugh in their face. I mean, granted, it also comes with two fries and two soft drinks, which is, is kind of excessive at that point, but let me tell you, I could plow through a sack of 10. It's probably just cheaper for me to order individual burgers instead of a uh, instead of a meal.
So they're open from 9 to 11.30 and then from midnight until 2.30. They used to be 24-7. Now they have, like, limited hours, but that's still interesting. Okay, let's, um... I just realized they don't have the... They don't have the option to... Oh, no, here they do. Slider variety. Order four meals. Ah, man. Damn it. Maybe I'll do a... Food review. Sean's online. What is he playing? He's not playing Peggle anymore. What's he streaming? Is he streaming right now? He is. He's setting up for something. He's playing something. Interesting. Oh, do you want to set up a new room or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. Just get it set up. Food reviews, I totally watch them. The thing is, I don't have a webcam, so I can't really, um... I don't know what... Also, I don't know what to say. Like, if I'm gonna... If I'm gonna eat White Castle and review it on stream, it, here's what I'm gonna say. It tastes like onions and cheese. Onion meat and jalapeno cheese. Use my phone? Eh, maybe. I don't know. I also feel like that'd be a gimmick for some for, that I do when I have more people watching me, which will never happen, but, you know. Right now it says I have three viewers watching and users in chat. There's like ten of them, and I think all of them are bots. Oh, look at that. Wow, and three of those people are max rank already. Why are you still playing? Yeah, no, my phone has an HD camera. I just, I don't know. Streaming from my phone is weird. I've never tried that. I also don't know if that works. Actually, I think it does work on Twitch, because you can broadcast from your phone. I wonder what happens if I try doing that while I'm already streaming from the, uh, uh, the console here. You know, it, no, actually I can't even make the joke because every time we fought Team Mushroom we've lost so far except for one. I was gonna say, at least I can't complain about Team Star not being good because every time we fight them we're losing.
But we've also lost to uh, Team Mushroom quite a bit too. I mean, it, I chill out a lot more when I realize that this is just, you know, it's this. It, there's not, there's nothing riding on this. I get much more frustrated when I lose at a game, when I'm guaranteed to either lose progress or have to repeat things constantly, because that is a waste of my time. And I get that that's the inherent nature of games, like you can lose and have to redo things, but it's like, I don't know, there's a limit. Especially on an easier game. What game really got me going recently? Uh, Network Transmission when I was fighting Quick Man. That was not fun. That was not a fun sight. Got this one. Nice. See? Look how many more points you get when you win. You get 60 and you get a 30% bonus on top of it. GVG's uh, playing right now. They're doing a uh, superstar. You're only 50 points away. Nice. That's like one good victory. So yeah, I've um, I've uh, subbed to uh, Good Vibes Gaming's uh, Patreon at, at, at EP level. It's pretty nice. Very happy to support those guys. So I've been watching uh I've been watching their their podcasts as they record them live lately. Ugh. No, Candy Crush, no, no, no. You don't get free advertising on my stream, Candy Crush. Do not. mind I don't mind uh, mobile phone games if but like Candy Crush is just like it's there's so many better versions of it on on actual gaming consoles like there's probably two different there's two different Pokemon versions of Candy Crush that are already more fun than actual Candy Crush also Puzzle League Puzzle League is like the same thing a lot more live action oh dear uh, the GVG stream is lagging quite a bit. I should never complain about my stream quality, honestly. C considering that they're professional game reviewers that, uh, just have crap connections. They're all bejeweled clones. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, too. Like, all those mobile phone puzzle games are, are just... They're the same thing. It's all the same thing. And it's... There's so much more variety when you actually play, like, puzzle games on a console, and I love puzzle games. Puzzle League's great. Tetris is great. Puyo Puyo's great. And most of those are games that are just inherently better with the controller. Like, playing Tetris on the smartphone is not fun. 
I know, because people have tried the official version and they complain about it. I'm trying to think what other puzzle games I really like. Wario's Woods was okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. It gets boring after a while. Um, Puzzle League was good. Puyo Puyo Tetris is good. Tetris is good. Puyo Puyo is good. Though admittedly, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a huge fan of Puyo on its own. I like it. And it's fun, but it's uh, I, I much prefer it with the Tetris aspect in it. You know, it's a really good uh, puzzle game. Why, yeah, why is with this fun? I just, um, it gets repetitive very quickly for me. A really fun puzzle game that's not even, it's like a puzzle slash story driven, uh, kind of, not even, a well, no, it's just puzzle. Uh, Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective on, uh, not, fa is it Phantom Detective? I think I'm getting that confused with, uh, Phantom, the Phantom Thief, uh, 3DS rhythm game that Sega made. Not, not Persona 5, I'm talking about a, a rhythm game. Um, But, uh, Ghost Trick on the DS, which is by the guy who made, uh, the Ace Attorney series, is a great puzzle game. It's got a very stylized, uh, art style to it. it uses very high-quality sprites. Um, has a very neat story, very interesting premise. The way the puzzles work are really cool. It's a 2D side-scrolling puzzle game. That's, that's how I would describe it. Narrative puzzle, uh, side-scrolling game. And it's just a very, very fun time. On a similar note, the Zero Escape games, which I really love, those are visual novels slash uh, escape room games, which while they're not puzzle games in the traditional sense, they are puzzling to solve, and they do have a lot of like small mini-game puzzles in them. I have to say, puzzle, puzzle games are probably one of my favorite genres. I like rhythm games too, but only very specific ones. I've come to realize that now the Switch and the handheld market are like flooded with puzzle uh, with rhythm games and most of them are just not my style. Like I liked Theater Rhythm on 3DS and my absolute favorite puzzle game uh rhythm games are EBA and the Owendon games, but uh uh it's a bit too many of them. Too many rhythm games with like not good mechanics in them. Also, congratulations, we lost again. <sighs> Wrecking Crew 98. I have not played Wrecking Crew 98. I haven't played the original Wrecking Crew, though. Wait a minute, that, the boot kicking team, is that, is that, um, hold on a second. No, that's not, that's not them. Imported from Japan from eBay a while back, cool. Really, uh, really waiting here, huh? Okay, I, I need to, uh, order that food. I still haven't decided what I want. Hold on. Okay, 
Okay, this is, we're gonna time out here. was going to happen. Wow, we're really just getting the absolute crap today, huh? Epic road trip meal. 30 original sliders, 5 small french fries, and 4 small fo soft drinks. Yeah, I could probably eat that in a day. Could probably down that in a few hours. Get two of them and eat them in one sitting. Oh god, that would kill me. White Castle, if you've never had it, it's very oniony. It gives you, you're you're guaranteed to have not if not indigestion, just a, a time after eating it. I'm prepping myself for this if I'm going to be eating it. Um, honestly, the let's get cheesy meal would be nice. The 10 cheese sliders, two small fries, two soft drinks. If I could... Oh, wait, I can sub in the jalapeno cheese. I was going to say, like, if I could just swap out the, the, the second soda and the second fries for, like, something else, then that would be worth it. But also, it's more expensive than getting the meals, nor getting the burgers on their own. All right, I'm going to go to slider variety. I'm going to get six jalapeno, strawberry banana smoothie, choose up to, th oh, it's adding the strawberry smoothie. I'm like, why is it getting so expensive? It's because it's adding the strawberry smoothie six times to the order. Alright, so I have to order it just as part of one, like one single thing. Okay, so I'll do the onion rings, one jalapeno slider, smoothie banana, strawberry banana smoothie. Add that to the order. Now go back into the jalapeno slider. Add in five more. So like, I know the joke is that I eat a lot, but I, I, there is a limit to how much I can eat in a single sitting. I'm actually do not have that much of a superhuman appetite. I get hungry often, but... Yeah, more friendly fire. Eat way less than one sitting than you used to, yeah. And I mean, like, another thing, too, is, like, I eat a lot of crap, but I am more than willing to go on a healthy diet and get more fresh veggies and stuff. The problem is I just don't know what I would like on a regular basis, and I haven't really given it much thought, because I just... It's just so much easier for me to default to eating crap. But I do like, like, fresh veggies. Like, I'll eat, like, carrots and, and broccoli and stuff. Usually no more than two plates at a buffet anymore. When uh, buffets were open, Nessie and I would go to uh, Flaming Grill, where she lives, and we would get- we would usually have about two plates each, and then uh, we'd have a dessert plate afterwards. I would try to limit my second plate just so I would have room for dessert. Yeah, I see you there. Nah, you ain't getting away from me. Yeah. 
See, now talking about food and actually trying to order it while I'm streaming is, is like, energizing me. Like, I kind of want to keep going. <laughs> Why did I stop firing? I could have killed her. Or hand killed them. I don't know. I don't know what gender that squid was. Actually that was an octoling. I would say I'm not getting at my A game right now, but given how most of our team is is dead, I, I don't think that that's uh it's it's on me here. So she just pops something in the microwave to make something with fresh with winter. Ugh, make something with fresh produce. You say that, but not in my house. It's not. We have not had a working microwave in about four years. Anytime I want to make anything that's microwavable, I have to fire up the oven for 40 minutes. It's a fucking pain. I hate it. That said, I don't eat a whole lot of food that's that goes in the microwave anymore at this point, so... In a way, it's better for me, but also, I just... Whatever. Yeah, I don't have a working microwave. Oh boy, all that for 20 points. If we do a doubles, if we do a friendly match against Ash, that'd be really, really funny. If we end up getting into a match with him. I would totally go into the, the stream and be like, yo, we just fought you. Nice. Oh, so one match, so no matter what happens the next match, you're going to hit it. As long as you get 4,000 points. Or 400 points, rather. Alright, six jalapeno cheese sliders, onion rings, strawberry banana smoothie. That should be enough. Yeah, same. The the 400 point thing I always try to hit because that's, you know, that's the difference. That's the difference maker. You know, I'm also going to add a smoked cheddar cheese slider, which isn't actually... I think that's chicken. Well, whatever. That's not actually a normal slider. No, I'm not going to add two more. Adding one more is already too much for me here. after this match is done. I don't normally order dinner on fr on Saturdays. I usually order lunch on Fridays just to kind of unwind while I'm working. And then I'll usually go get like Taco Bell with my brother on Saturdays, but recently we haven't been doing that just because of the holidays and stuff. Oh, they are down to no one right now. So I figured I'd treat myself tonight. Usually Saturday night I make either mac and cheese or I make chili with fries on the stove, uh, but tonight I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, getting some bad, bad fast food. Wow, we are pushing these guys back.
Not at all. Damn it! Couldn't line it up. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, ba da boop. Damn it! We lost. That was close. Wait, maybe we won. Nope, we lost. Fuck! Gonna take a break? Alright. I am going to... Uh, back out... And, uh, regroup here for a second. I'm probably gonna, st like, once I hit king status, I'm gonna stop, but I'm also not going to, uh, deathly curious as to what, uh, oh, he's probably streaming Ori. Yep, he's streaming Ori. I know that was, like, his, his big new game. Okay, let me put in this order for, for this disgusting white castle. Um, wait a minute, can I just delete the one jalapeno cheese slider? And keep everything else? Yes, I can! Okay, cool. I can order it for 1 a.m. Or I can order it now and get it in 44 minutes, which I'd rather do. I mean, they'll leave it on my doorstep, so it's not like um, not like I really have to worry about it. Actually, if I do that, I have to turn on the light. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Uh, are, are you getting the 30, ar sl 30 slider artery clogger? No. I'm getting um, five jalapeno cheddar sliders, one smoked cheddar slider, which I believe is a chicken sandwich. I don't believe that's actually uh, supposed to be like a beef sandwich. Not that White Castle's made of beef. Come on. Uh, I'm getting a, a bag of onion rings and a strawberry banana smoothie, which, honestly, I was in the mood for a smoothie today. I was almost tempted to go to McDonald's and get a smoothie from there because... They have them. Those, like, garbagey sugar smoothies. We have a Playa Bowl in town, which I believe has smoothies, but they're also, like, really expensive, and... I don't know. 
I don't know. I mean, I mean, I've, the money's not an issue for me at all. I, I do not care. I just spent 17 bucks on White Castle. Whew, okay. Take a few minutes here. I'm not I'm not ordering forty sliders, guys. No. Is my stream lagging? Hold on. What's going on there? No, it's fine. It's it's doing that thing where it lags for like a couple seconds every minute or so. Also, I don't think I've ever said this, but this character right here, this this hippie flow lady. She is my favorite Splatoon character. Though I really don't want anything she's selling right now. Quick respawn and save her sub. The problem is, like, buying new equipment now to level it up is pointless for me, because I'm not playing this game beyond tonight. That said... That is pretty good. I think I have uh, an ink... Like, a, a leather jacket like that already, though. Oh, I can't wear it during a Splatfest anyway, so I can't even show it off. There is... There's a, there's a witch costume set that I would really like, but it's amiibo only, apparently. And I don't have any of the Splatoon amiibo. That wasn't even the most expensive weapon. The Splat Brella is, is 29... is 298. Splat Zones, B minus. That's probably what I'm ranking at right now. B my nope, C plus, C plus, C plus, B minus, C minus, and Clam Blitz. I forgot about Clam Blitz. Got a lot of chunks. So, chunks, huh? It's nice how often Salmon Run is open now. I remember people were really upset when this first launched, and they were only doing Salmon Run like. Like eight, like 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 eight hours every two days, or like sixteen hours every two days. Now it now it's like it goes from one p.m. to seven a.m., shuts down for like five hours, and then comes back. I would say maybe uh, an Octo expansion stream. Well, uh, is coming soon, but, uh, I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I have the time for it. I can tell you what DLC I will not be streaming, uh, that's the Breath of the Wild DLC, because if I do play that, I'm gonna be playing that with the Labo VR headset, and try to experience as much of that as I can.
raw. Wait, raw? I thought I was like really high ranked with this. Whatever. Rawr. Oom cow. I've got another mirror match. Haven't seen enough of those today. Nice, perfect. Yeah, they changed it so that if you only target one or two, it does more missiles on them, but getting all four of them still gets more than that. So it's definitely worth hitting every one if you can, because you'll get the most ink coverage. Splatted by the fucking uh, sprinkler for a second there. I was like, no, I didn't get done in by a, by a, by a friggin' sprinkler. Come on. We really couldn't pull this one out after we had such a huge advantage earlier. What is... This is... 
Am I bad? Is, is this my fault somehow? Like, am I actually bad at this game? Or am I just getting really shit luck with the teams I'm getting on here? Because I think that... I think this is beyond my ability to be bad. That's weird. I can't do the... I can't do the thing with the controller. Oh boy, mirror matches. This is a great Splatfest involving Team Superstar and Team Superstar. And then that mushroom team that randomly shows up and kicks our ass for like 20 seconds. Yamu Hayuto? Is that his name? Their name? Oh, I got him. Hayato. That's it. Hayato. Okay, why? I was fi firing at them point blank. That should have hit them. Ah, you think you're so hot, don't you? You think you're hot shit. But you ain't. Wow, we're actually decimating pretty hard here. Watch us blow it in the last second.
<laughs> no, 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 no. No, back. Player just disappeared. Nice, not bad. Finally, a win. check that Splatoon app again, because I need to check what my last 50 were. Battles. Last 50. 37 defeats, 13 victories. Yikes. And that's all today. That's not- that doesn't even start the, uh... Well, maybe that first match is there. I don't know, maybe that's exactly... Oh, that is all my matches here. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine... Ten victories! Four... Eight... Ten... Fifteen... 19, 21, 23, 24. 24 defeats, 10 victories. So I guess the rate isn't too bad, but it's still less than a quarter. It's, it's barely more than a quarter of the matches I played. And look, uh, Superstar versus Superstar again. I really wish it wouldn't come down to, like, the one time I'm facing the Mushroom people that, uh, I die. Boy, I die. Lord, I try. Still got him off. Yeah, we are. Oh. Oh. Pretty good. Oh, our entire team got wrecked. Okay, yeah, this match is probably going to be unfavorable. It's not even like a clean like three to three. It, it was like four and one, four and zero. Once you hit that point, it's pretty much like the enemy's going to just push and, and not give you the time of day. The only way to recover from that is taking out the entire enemy team at once and. and Regaining that ground. Fuck.
Wow. If only we had more time. I killed three of them in one go. We lost, though. That's that's a bit too little. Too little, too late. Hey, at least I pulled my weight. Can't say for the same for the rest of those jokers. Seven splats and the most ground covered. that how refreshing more more people on my own team I meant to do a stream check after this, or after that last match shit. I need to make sure my diagnostics are okay. Well, I'm not dropping any frames, and it says I'm still streaming, so I'm assuming it's good. Should have been more proactive there. Don't think that was enough for you. Yeah, we won. That's definitely more coverage on our end. I'm back in the groove of this, at least somewhat.
Okay, wait. Chicken. Chicken, chicken. I've been streaming over four hours now, which is not a common occurrence for me. Though tomorrow's stream might be long, because I'm going to finish Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Which, by the way, I stopped like a really... I should not have stopped when I did. I should have gone like slightly further. Because I could have stopped right... Because the fun... It turns out that dungeon is really short. I thought it was much bigger than it was. I'm, I'm literally in like the second to last area. Like, the, the room I'm in has a very easy puzzle to solve. It's not even a puzzle. It's just a bunch of arbitrary shit. And then, uh... Immediately, like, the final part of the of the dungeon starts right after that. So I kind of stopped at a dumb point, and I should have kept going. I probably would not have finished it in that other that last 15 minutes, but... Uh, I could have gotten up to the point where I could grind off-stream and just be immensely powerful. Berry feet. Welcome back, Kai. Plenty to drink. Hey, it's all good. I'm more concerned that it's me not being good at the game that's causing us to lose. Also, again, it really doesn't matter. If we're doing team versus same team, then who cares? It really means nothing. It just means it's going to take longer for me to get to king rank, which at this rate, it doesn't really matter. I got all four of them. Nice. I got berry feet. And David. as well. Okay, why did I come over here? What, what What's the point? One thing I wish they'd sort of change about Splatoon, how much ink the sub-weapons deal, uh, take up. Like, I get that it's to prevent spamming the sub-weapons. What I would like to see is maybe a sub-weapon that just has its own separate cooldown, and then the, uh, ink can be used normally, because I really don't like the fact that, like, a sub- single use of a sub-weapon will make it so you then can't really fire afterwards for more than, like, a second. Even if the cooldown had to be longer to, to you know, balance it out, I would really appreciate that over it using the same uh, ink tank. Oh, this is close. Fuck! That is depressing. None too happy about that. 
that's a uh, that's an I shouldn't have lost that loss. What's that emote? Oh, Cyrus is a sus emote. I didn't realize they had that. I'm not sub to Cyrus. They always stream. Ooh, wow, that stream's getting choppy. Uh, they always stream when I'm like sleeping or at work. <laughs> Food's arriving in 13 minutes. 13 and 19 minutes. You get Kraken for, for Splatoon. That's cool. I don't usually... To be honest, I don't drink. My girlfriend's much more of a drinker than I am. She likes her uh, her White Claw, which I am not a fan of. I'm not, I'm not big into White Claw. What was the other one? It was White Claw. What the? What was the other drink she gave me? I have to look at my photos. Oh my god, why? Why are these photos so hard to scroll through? Hello, Mr. Obama? Uh, where is this? Strongbow. Hard apple cider. That was the one that I liked. Point blank shot. Hard cider is typically good. Yes, it is. I very much enjoy hard cider. Anything with the fruit in it is really good for me. And mojito. I like mint. I also like mudslides. Those are really good. Kahlua. Chocolate. I'm not a fan of beer. I'm not really a fan of hard alcohol. Like anything anything straight alcohol, I'm not really a fan of. Whiskey, bourbon. Vodka. Special treatment. Driver's waiting at the restaurant for the order. Okay, cool. Back, 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 back. Oh, we're losing. Come on. Damn it. One person that was alive was behind me. Yeah, 
And now we lost this one. Filling these bars up meant something. All right, it's been four hours. We got even more, uh, more map updates. Oh, my order's been picked up and it's on the way. Five 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 away from nine nine nine. Nine hour five hours, five persons, five doors. I think something's up here because so I have I have uh, another stream on of this right now and it they have the same issue they're just kind of stuck in the lobby oh never mind there it goes GG 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 JJ to the jet, JJ the jet plane. <laughs> I never watched that growing up. That was a little too late for me. <gasps> they exist. The mushroom people. Wahoo world. Doop will do. This map's a little weird. It's, it's got one of those weird splat zones in it where it's like, uh, it like moves so things kind of get weird. Nailed it! You, on the other hand, you need to go. Ah, oh, fuck. You won by 0.1%. I've won by 0.1% before. It's It's been revealed that that might just be straight up getting, like, a tie. 
and, and it's just the game using like an algorithm to tie break it. Because if you play like a private match and have no one splat anything for the entire match, uh, someone will still be crowned a winner by like a 0.1% margin. So it's very well possible you just tied in the margin and the uh, the algorithm favored you. Nice, got two of them. Ooh, we're dominating pretty hard here. Should probably make a push into their territory. Damn it! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, guys. at the last second again yep wow i am not happy about that every time with these people not having fun my meal's about to arrive Guys, variety crew. I want to pose with a big check. Why can't I win a battle like that? Why didn't I buy that? Okay, that was weird. I'll buy that. Let me get this scrubbed. Whoa, what is that message? Uh, okay, that's something about, uh... Scrub it. Scrub it clean. So, chunks, huh? Quite understood this. They don't look like they're they, like they're not looking forward when they do this. They're clearly looking. They're trying. Like their eyes are clearly looking up. Whatever. 
Uh, this was fun. I mean, it's frustrating. I lost way more than I won, but uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I might continue playing a bit more off stream, but I think that I'm gonna stop because it's f been four hours and 30 minutes. I was gonna stop at most in another hour anyway, and my food is here, so I just want to stop. Like, I I'm not gonna. I, I was consider heavily considering doing it, but it there's there's no way I'm I'm gonna be eating on stream. That doesn't sound that just doesn't sit right with me, at least right now. Ah, uh, but thanks for coming, you guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for playing with me, Kai. I also appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably be around tomorrow. I'm not getting 50 sliders. It's six. It's six sliders and, and onion rings. Um, I'll be around tomorrow. I'll be around online tonight, but I'll be around tomorrow to finish Golden Sun Dark Dawn. If I'm really feeling up to it, I might do some Mega Man Network Transmission. That'll be the focus going forward next week. And then uh, I'll probably move on to Mario Sunshine after that, just because I'm in the mood for it, and I want to do another one of the two games on the 3D collection, just to justify buying it. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. I think in February, I mean in February we've got like a ton of games happening. We have Mario 3D Land, 3D World, Persona 5 Strikers, which I'm not sure if I could even stream that, because Atlas, you know, they'll send, they'll send the, the spoiler police after me. And, uh... Bravely Default 2, which I don't know if I'm getting that right away. And then in uh in March we have Monster Hunter. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be so much shit for me to play. I hope I can keep up with it. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna head out. You guys have a great evening. I'll talk to you later, and I may see you tomorrow, hopefully. Later. <laughs>